This is my new Hog Sterling engine and the Walesco steam accessory, the woodcutter, that I purchased from ministeam.com, also known as the Mini Steam Company. And uh, the little belt there, you can purchase a little kit so you can uh, produce that belt. It comes in strips and you get some glue and a little cutting kit to cut the ends off and then you pretty much just produce your own rubber belt to run on this Sterling engine. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see how our woodcutter performs with the Hog Sterling engine. Okay, we're back. We just lit the flame. Give it about maybe another 15 or 20 seconds. Looks like our wood cutter's underway. They have a, a bolt load of these little accessories that you can run. They're, they're designed for steam engines, but obviously the hogs are powerful enough sterling to run them. They've got about 45 different little figures for table saws. or It's pretty neat to be able to choose from all those different accessories if you want to hook something up to your hog sterling engine. Dude, my shoulder's killing me just watching you. Hey, I just thought of something. I got a bunch of wood out back on the wood pile. <laughs> I'm just going to haul this in here and have you take care of that. Sweet. This is excellent. You just made my day, dog. You the man. Wow. So after I blew the flame out, the woodcutter performed for about another 60 seconds. That's pretty impressive, but check this out. So the flame's been out now for probably about a minute and a half. So there's been no flame under there for a minute and a half. So there's the hog sterling running off of just residual heat. Just started right up. Yeah, it's an awesome little Sterling. I've, I've been messing with them for uh, a couple of years, and I've been buying some cheaper ones made, I don't know, where in Malaysia or somewhere, and they kept breaking after every six to nine months. So I wanted a high-quality one, so this is a really neat little motor. Thanks for watching. You are the man, my friend.